everyone, welcome back to Anna Elaine. Today I'm doing a hair tutorial for you. I don't ever do hair tutorials, but this was quite requested because I do often wear my hair out in like loose kind of curls and that, and I wanted to show how I achieved that because a lot of you are asking. And all I use is a GHD straightener. So I am i don't even own a curling wand. Um, I used to ages ago because I bought one because everyone on YouTube uses them, but I just it's not so much my thing. I much prefer just these because it's just one tool. I straighten my hair with it, I curl it, I can kind of wave my hair with it. You can get a lot of looks with a straightener. And if you take it traveling, it's like a mini iron, so you can iron out creases in your clothes as well. So I find it a little more useful. Um, but I'm just gonna show you through how I curl my hair. Obviously, it's not done yet. Like, don't think this is it. <laughs> this is freshly washed last night, so it's a bit fluffy and a bit chaotic. So I'm going to tame it for you on camera and I hope you enjoy this video. <laughs> Before we get started with the styling, I thought I'd run through what I washed my hair with last night in case you were interested. I used the Kevin Murphy Blonde Angel Wash and this is a purple shampoo and it's a really nice smelling shampoo but it also helps to just keep my hair kind of toned, especially the ends. Like, it doesn't do a lot obviously to the, the roots because um, it is an ombre but the ends I like to be really quite white or like very platinum so that's um, how I keep it pretty platinum with the purple shampoo and then I use the Kevin Murphy Blonde Angel which is the conditioner it's a purple conditioner I leave this in kind of like a mask for like 10 minutes because it helps to get like the pigment really strongly attached to your hair so that it looks really really cool toned um, and these two together are really great they're very expensive though so if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a purple shampoo there are cheaper options available then I went through with my Kevin Murphy anti-gravity spray and this Whilst it's not my favourite like spray in the world, especially because it's quite pricey, um, this is like a heat protecting, kind of volumising spray. As I said, it's anti-gravity, so it doesn't weigh your hair down, um, but it just protects it against the heat styling and whatnot. But I probably wouldn't recommend to go out and buy this because it's kind of pricey for what it is, and I feel like a lot of the drugstore ones do just as good a job. So I use a round um, four bristle kind of brush. It's just a wooden one with four bristles, nothing fancy. It's quite affordable from the supermarket. And I'm just going to brush out all of my hair first because it's quite knotty I hope you guys don't mind I'm using the viewfinder to see what I'm doing um, so I'm going to be looking like that heaps just because I don't have a mirror behind me this is um, windows so hope you don't mind Here's all brushed out. I'm going to turn on my straightener and I'm just going to let that heat up and then I'll show you how I curl my hair. So the kind of curls I'm going to show you I can literally do in about three minutes to my whole head and that's because it's a very everyday kind of curl look. I take a lot more hair, um, like a bigger chunk, um, so it's a lot more natural but I also can do like very intense formal like Hollywood curls with a GHD which I might actually do in another video. I just want to show you my kind of everyday curling routine that I wear in a lot of videos. If I was wanting to section it off, like my hair into sections, I could use one of these clips, which I do quite a bit, but today I'm literally just going to curl it in big chunks, so I hope you're all good with that. I almost need to sit on a cushion. I'm a bit short. Uh, maybe that will... That's a bit better. You can kind of see the rest of my hair. I generally start at the back, so I just like grab a piece like this. Um, quite large. And then what you want to do, you grab your straightener in your right hand, or I guess whatever hand is your natural hand. So me, I'm right-handed. Um, and what you want to do is get the tongs kind of above your head. You want to put the hair in between the tong, and then as soon as you've touched down, you want to be really fast because you don't want to singe your hair off, you want to turn your hand like this. So I'll demonstrate here. So over, twist, pull. And you want to have some sort of tension to it. Um, sometimes I have to like kind of clamp and unclamp the hair. And like clamp, 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 clamp. Just so that it um, has enough kind of tension, but it's, um, you know, can flow through. Because it doesn't always go nice and smoothly. And look at that. Nice little curl. Over, twist, run it through. Grip, 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 grip. Now my straightener doesn't get too hot, I can touch it, especially if I'm just doing that. Um, but if you are sensitive to heat or your straightener gets very warm, you might want to use a glove. But I've never needed to. Yeah. 
this, um, the way I'm doing it as well is I'm curling the hair away from my face. If I wanted to curl it the other way, then I would just flick. And so instead of clamping down and flicking it that way, you'd want to put it on and flick it under and pull it that way. You just do it the opposite direction. It's pretty much the same technique, just the other way around. And this is taking a bit longer than normal for me because I am talking and stuff. Normally I can whip this hairstyle out in about three to five minutes, which is really good for when I'm um, in a hurry in the mornings, which I always am. So the trick to doing the opposite direction, so you don't have to use your bung hand, you can keep using your like predominant hand, but what you want to do Instead of doing like what we had to do, kind of like a twist, like quite awkward hand position, this side's much easier for me. You go at it from this angle, so it's not this angle. Go at it like here, and then just twist it out the same sort of way that we did before. And then clampy clamp. Down. And then you've got your little curl. I'll show you a couple of times so you can see. Go at it from the side, clamp, twist, and start bringing it down the hair. Now this, I've practiced this for many, many, many years. It's not even like difficult for me to do anymore. But when I was first learning, it, you know, takes a bit of time. So don't get annoyed if your curls come out real average the first time, or even the first few times. Do it on a day where it doesn't matter if you're, you know, if you're just spending the day at home where you don't really care. You can put your hair off in a bun or something if it looks atrocious. Um, get a lot of practice in before like a special event. Do you see how my hand's going like clamp, clamp, clamp? It just means that you get quite a good contact with the heat, but you're not going to um, pull on the hair too much. It keeps the curl in a better shape. I'm going to just go back in with my hairbrush and I brush everything out. I know some people don't like to brush out their curls because I like it to look more sort of like ringlety, but for me, especially for every day, I love just to really brush them out, make them look quite natural. Um, stops them looking too like Shirley Temple. <laughs> just keeps it really nice and pretty, um, like you just woke up like this. This kind of reminds me of like Kate Middleton, like she always wears her hair pretty straight at the top and then curls at the bottom and I love that. Then I normally like to go in with some dry shampoo, even on freshly washed hair, because this just adds a bit of texture. And just spray that through my roots for a bit of volume, because my hair is very limp. It's quite fine here, so it doesn't have a lot of body. So to kind of give it a bit of texture, I just pop a bit of this through. But this is optional. If you've got very thick hair, you probably don't need to do this. And then if you want your curls to stay all day, um, you can use some L'Oreal Alnet hairspray. This is my favorite. Um, it's a big can and it's quite affordable and it's just the best hairspray I've ever come across. I actually feel, I've got this weird kink in my hair. I think I slept on it funny. Um, I feel like often I don't even need to actually use hairspray for day to day because especially I don't want my curls to be too set. I kind of like them to relax. But this hairstyle will last me like a few days anyway. Like it won't look as perfect like this. It'll start to drop, but it'll kind of drop in a nice way where it looks, tomorrow it'll look like a really natural wave as opposed to like I've obviously styled my hair. So I'm not gonna bother, but if you want them to be very, very set, you could use some hairspray as well. Beds in the cave. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. I actually had a lot of fun filming this. So if you do have any other hair style request videos that you'd like me to do, do comment below because I'm more than happy to try and fit them into my schedule if it's something that I can actually do. <laughs> this is looking very 1970s right now too because I really like plumped it up with the dry shampoo. But 
So don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you did enjoy it. It does really help me out and get my videos a little more exposure on YouTube, which means I can grow my family here. I also wanted to welcome all my new subscribers. I've caught a few um, new subscribers over the last week since my last video. So welcome to my channel. It's awesome to have you here. And until next week, I hope you guys have an awesome week and get lots done and have a good energy. And I'll see you all in my next video next week.